Joining me now is Democratic State Representative Rafael Anchia of Texas. Uh, Representative Anchia, good to see you again. This is what I'm just trying to get from people everywhere in Arizona, in Texas, in Michigan, in Georgia, in Pennsylvania. What is it that your bill would solve exactly? Tell me the time when somebody went through 24 hour voting and it wasn't them or they were they voted three times. They drove through and came back. Nobody seems to have examples of what this problem is they are trying to solve. Yeah, this really is a solution in search of a problem. Over and over again, we've asked Republicans, including the governor, to go ahead and give us uh, examples. They've never been able to provide any. The reality is that our Republican Secretary of State called this election safe, secure, and successful. No examples of voter fraud. Now, they're trying to prosecute a guy, poor guy in, in Houston, who waited in line forever. Turns out he, he, he's an American citizen, was eligible to vote, but for the fact that he was still on some sort of parole. So they're coming hard at him. But other than that one single case, which really is a technicality and a mistake, uh, not, not a, the intention of, of committing any type of irregularity, the, there is no example of what's going on. Look, my, my brave colleagues in the House have been sitting there uh, overnight in a committee hearing that just ended moments ago for 24 hours. They sat and listened to overwhelming testimony by Texans that say, don't take away my freedom to vote. I, what we do have lots of examples of, because we have lots of pictures of it, is people standing in really, really long lines to vote. We have examples in some Texas counties of people having to literally drive or be taken from one side of a county to the other. I live in Manhattan, where I, I vote one and a half blocks from my house. So these things don't don't. Uh, they don't resonate with me. And I think that might be part of the problem for many millions of Americans. Trouble voting does not resonate with them. So they don't understand the crisis that we're facing. Yeah, th this is about chipping away at the right to vote for some of our most vulnerable Texans. I mean, the disability community had a big press conference recently saying, hey, this 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 bill that's being proposed is going to make it harder for us to vote. Uh, people of color, people who uh, may not have the right ID may not have a, a concealed handgun license, but may have their college ID, would still not be able to vote in the state of Texas. It's stuff like that that, that, is, that, that there, there are these uh, bureaucratic steps that, that Republicans are trying to put in place to make it slightly harder for people to vote. And, and let me tell you, it's not just going to impact Democrats. It's going to impact Republicans, independents, and everybody else. This is really about the freedom to vote for Texans, and that's why we're fighting so hard. So if you could do away with the myth that there is widespread, and I don't even like the expression widespread voter fraud because it makes it sound like there's, you know, lots of but not widespread. There isn't even lots of voter fraud. There isn't even a significant amount of voter fraud. There's virtually no voter fraud in America. But do you believe that if you could do away with that myth, then, then right-minded Republicans would say, this is unnecessary. We should probably put all this effort into all the things that make people vote, that will increase encourage them to vote, that will allow more time for voting and more places for voting. Yeah, you know, the, the big fraud is the big lie that, that suggests that somehow people stole this election from uh, Donald Trump. The reality is that uh, voter fraud, if it exists at all, is a rounding error of a rounding error of a rounding error, especially in a place like the state of Texas, which is one of the hardest states to vote in the entire union. Um, you know, this really isn't about what Republicans say it's about. This is about political power. This is about um, maintaining control in a state like Texas that continues uh, to, to close in partisan margin. Uh, and, and this is about uh, really not only state elections, but national elections. So fraud is a pretext. Um, this is really about reducing access to the franchise, making it hard for people to exercise their right to vote, their freedom to vote, and that way they can hold on to power. And that really is the most cynical and undemocratic uh, pretext and motivation that uh, anybody could have, and Republicans are exercising to the maximum. Democratic State Representative Rafael Anchia, good to see you again. Thank you for joining us.